From the Global Press Institute standpoint, the particular aspect of the sector that we seek to move forward is this idea that um, there is a third way between traditional foreign correspondence and citizen journalism that can break down a lot of barriers that both platforms create to produce the highest caliber international news content possible, but also do it in a way that um, makes good business sense. So they're fulfilling a social mission, but also the real understanding the real reality that you can't create optimum social change if your business is not sustainable. So I think for us, it's pioneering that really high quality storytelling while also pioneering a business model that could potentially be replicated by um, other nonprofit uh, journalism organizations around the world. In media in particular, Ashoka Fellows have a luxury that a lot of other media practitioners don't have. I mean, I consider GPI, for example, to be almost like a utopian media environment. We don't have advertisers, we don't have corporate influence, we don't have uh, donors that control our content, we don't dictate or assign stories from afar, so it's, it's really just this opportunity to experiment with this next phase of media in a way that is not bound by the traditional limitations of mainstream media. So I think Ashoka Fellows in particular have a responsibility to continue to push the envelope, to take storytelling or cybersecurity or whatever particular aspect of media you're working in to the next level. But the entire network of Global Press Institute reporters and editors um, is an amazing example of everyone a change maker, right? I mean, I am an Ashoka Fellow and very grateful to be, but it is really the women of GPI who each take change making um, very seriously on their own local level through the stories that they tell. So um, that's definitely uh, a core value of GPI is the everyone a change maker mentality. Um, beyond that, also inspired by Ashoka, we rewrote our code of ethics last year to include responsible empathy. And um, the theory being that journalists, um, more than almost any other profession, have a responsibility to be responsibly empathetic in the work that they're doing. They're not just, when you extract someone's story, a human story, uh, you have a responsibility to do that with empathy, balanced, of course, with bias and objectivity and all these other core journalistic um, strategies and thoughts that, that we prioritize. But. Um, this idea of empathy and responsible empathy is something that now really fuels all of our work and all of the trainings that we're doing around the world.